Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another Nikkei video and today we're looking at Viper, someone who's been a lot of people have been looking forward to just based on the the sprite of the character. If you like that, that's fine. And of course, as you may not, may know or may not know, I only judge based on the, the character's kit, not the sprite or the looks of the character. So we're not looking at that. Uh, so she has a shotgun character. It's fine. It's it's pretty good. For, for her kit, of course, you know, you'd rather have a rocket launcher for her kit. Like, it would probably be really good if she has a rocket launcher, but uh, she is a shotgun user. And she's a burst too, which is not too bad. And there's a lot of nice things with her kit. Um, already, you can already see that she gets a lot of hit rate, especially with that snake sense. Um, very good with Moderna. Be able to increase the hit rate for all allies. That's very good. For characters that are having shotguns like Pepper and units that shoot a lot like Moderna. So very good with uh, the first skill here. Second skill, you have just have a little bit of hit rate, which I'm assuming stacks with the first skill because I don't understand why they would make them different. Like they would, it, it should, they should stack there. So, and then they get an interesting new ability here, which I was mentioned in the developer's notes briefly. So one ally will be excluded from enemy's targets for 10 seconds. And then if the only way this would ever, if we would ever lose the effect is if it's like, like if it's like an AOE attack, cause I'm assuming this is only for like targeted attacks is what the, you know, they will be excluded from. So not too bad. You also get an invincibility for one second and one second could make or break the victory. One second is actually quite a, quite a long time if you think about it in this game, so one second is very good. And then the last one here is a boss killer for sure. So you affect one designated one enemy unit. So for example, if this is only one boss and there's no parts, kind of rare, but it's decent. So whatever this whatever whatever the snake blast targeting, it's going to do quite a bit of damage. And you also get some effects down here when. The designated enemy units are, include the stage target affects the same enemy units. And I'll do a debuff of defense. Apparently de uh, debuff, uh, de defense debuffing is not that amazing in this game right now. Not really sure why. <laughs> it's, it seems like it should be good, but it, apparently it's not as good as it, it, it should be. So it is what it is on that. But obviously the snake scale is the reason why you would want to pull this character for the for the vamp ability and also the hit rate on snake sense for moderna or whoever else, whoever else is your main damage dealer like scarlet would like to have that hit rate as well would be pretty decent not not as not as great with as a moderna for example but it would be okay and then for pepper of course so you know surprisingly pepper does quite a bit of damage and it's kind of like a meme Oh, it's, it's a, it's a, you know, it's a, it's a cute girl that it heals and has a, you know, has a shotgun or whatever, but she does, so, she has more damage. She almost does more damage than my main damage dealer. How is that happening? It's because of the shotgun. So overall, this character is pretty good and interesting, but should you pull? Most people are still, you know, reeling off the Moderna pulls or you're still pulling from, is she still on banner by the way? Let's just check to see before, before we say that. Uh, let's just check to see. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't checked any dates. Uh, it looks like she's actually gone. So I can't say, oh, people are still trying to pull for her because she's gone now. So hopefully you're able to get her. Um, but yeah, people are probably still reeling from the Moderna pulls. I am as well. So I'm just trying to, uh, at, at this point, I'm just trying to save for quite a while now because I've got quite a roster of characters. I'm not trying to brag, I'm just saying, I'm just stating my opinion. Um, so I, I just feel like this is a skip. As nice as she is, and she's actually very good. And I'm going to be giving her an 8.5 out of 10. I think that she is very valuable to a team, and especially since she's burst 2 with a shotgun. That, you can fit you can fit her on a lot of teams with that situation. Now if she was a burst 3, there's been a lot of burst 3s. And most people are kind of set in. Like burst 3 is the most... I wouldn't, I wouldn't say replaceable, but it's not irreplaceable. I mean, like, just like you want to invest in burst threes the most because they'll be doing the most damage. So you kind of just want to settle in and focus on, you know, switching around on burst one and twos. 
those are much easier to move around than burst threes in my, in my personal opinion i've gotten quite far in the game with this philosophy so i'm just saying that's what i'm just saying guys anyways with that being said she's 8.5 out of 10 valuable unit if you do pull her but it's not necessary if you did pull from moderna though if you have moderna she'll be able to help out with that hit rate buff Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you agree with my opinion, let me know in the comment section down below. If you disagree with my opinion, let me know in the comment section down below as well. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with people disagreeing with me. I'm not going to be right on everything. Just stating my opinions, how I would use her in my in my point in the point of my game I've been in. Um, chapter 17, probably going to be getting to 18 within the next week or so. So, um... Just, just stating my opinion on how, how she is. So let me know in the comment section below if you're going to pull for her. If you did pull for her, let me know if you got her or not. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.